This is not a perfect agreement. It will not solve the uh, climate threat as uh, we believe there is a climate threat to mankind. We've come a long way, but we have much further to go. It is now obvious that we will not get all we had hoped for. A weak agreement, a failure, a deception, a farce. The United Nations Climate Conference in Copenhagen has not become the turning point in history that many people on Earth were hoping for. Despite the urgency of global warming, the world's political leadership did not manage to step beyond its own shadows. In the end, national economic and political interests weighed more heavily than the general global interests. Our global environment, particularly in developing countries now, is the main victim. Financing innovation in green technology will remain difficult. The only issue agreed on is the need to keep global warming limited to a rise of 2 degrees Celsius. Still undecided is the how and when that is to happen. Copenhagen did not only lack political will, but it also lacked organizational skills. That's disappointing and embarrassing, certainly given the enormity of what was at stake. Reducing global warming so that planet Earth remains a place to live for future generations. There is broad agreement on this goal, yet translating it into political action at this stage, despite two years of preparations among the 192 members of the UN, proved impossible. At a time when true global leadership, discipline and guidance are needed, the Danish government as organizers and the United Nations are unable to deliver an efficient infrastructure, contributing to a chaotic process that was dogged by procedural games. The European Union, a self-proclaimed global climate leader, clearly was not able to put its mark on the negotiations. It was literally snowed under by China and the United States. The US is held back by climate skeptics on Capitol Hill, and China remains obsessed with accelerating economic growth. All this gives to think and needs to be a lesson. Our climate is too important to be made dependent on different national interests. This needs to change. If it proves impossible to achieve these goals through an all-encompassing global agreement, then the process should be revised to an alternative one, with smaller, less ambitious steps. Better one small step at a time, than no large steps at all. Copenhagen has failed, leaving us with a major hangover. The fight against global warming, however, will continue. The urgency of the problem and the lessons of Copenhagen will not let global warming disappear from the international agenda. Raymond Franken, EUXTV.